power of a self-directed IRA for building wealth. Hi everyone, Adam Bergman here, tax attorney and founder of IRA Financial. So I've been a huge supporter of self-directed IRAs for the last really 12 years or so. That's actually when I figured out that the self-directed IRA world existed. I was a tax attorney for nine years, some of the largest law firms in New York City, and I never knew that you can actually buy alternative assets with a retirement account. I mean, I have a law degree. I have a master's in taxation, right? I practiced law for nine years and I had no idea. And I somehow, thankfully, because of a client that I helped research self-directed IRA investments on my ninth year in a major law firm in New York City, that's how I was able to uncover the world of self-directed retirement investments. And let me tell you, over the last 12 years, I've been blown away by the opportunity to build wealth in a self-directed IRA. So here are a couple examples to show you how you can build wealth in a self-directed retirement account. Of course, it's built off mathematics. It's built off the power of deferral. If you don't trust me, trust Albert Einstein, who said, compounding returns is the eighth wonder of the world. That means your money grows faster without tax. Every eight years, if you can average an 8% rate of return, your money should double. Now imagine if you're able to invest in assets you know and trust, like real estate or private equity funds or hedge funds or private businesses, hard money loans, or even cryptos. Now let's go through a couple examples. Let's say you're 22 years old and you put away $1,095 a year, okay? Three bucks a day or so. 8% rate of return, you have $579,000 in an IRA when you hit 70. Pretty good stuff too, right? Let's say at 22, you start with $1,825 a year. That's it. Even if you start making more money, you stay flat. $1,825 a year, 8% rate of return, which you should be able to do over the next 40 or 50 years. At age 70, you have $966,000. If you did that in a taxable account, assuming you had a 25% tax rate, you have just 496, pretty much doubled your money. Let's do a couple other fun examples. Let's say you're able to do $5,000 a year, starting at 35, which I think a lot of us can do that. Just a 6% rate of return until 70, 590,000. If you did that in a taxable account, assuming a 25% tax rate, just 425. Now let's get even more crazy here. Let's say at 23, you start at $5,500 a year. So not the max 6,000, 5,500 bucks a year, you have a good job. You do that from 23 until 70, okay? 8% rate of return, which is manageable, 2.7 million bucks. Yeah, it's no joke, 2.7 million. If you did it in a taxable account, 1.27 million, okay? There you go. Let's say you started at 40 years old, 5,500 bucks until 70, 8% rate of return. You still got 722,000 bucks tax-free in a Roth. Pretty good. If you did in a taxable account, 465. Now let's get crazy with like Bitcoin and some other real estate and some other fun stuff. Let's say you go 28 to 72, <coughs> $5,000 a year, but you get a 10% rate of return, 1.4 million. What about if you got a 15% rate of return? Possible in cryptos, right? $17 million, 4 million if it's taxable. These numbers don't lie, this is based off math. What happens if you do $2,400 a year? 30 to 72, 10% rate of return, 1.7 million. If you did in a taxable account, 25% tax rate, 683K, okay? $1,000 a year, 25 to 72, 15% rate of return. You're doing well in cryptos or real estate or hedge funds, private investments. 5.45 million. 5.45 million. If you did a taxable account, 1.1 million. So that's how you build wealth. You start early, you're consistent, you trust the process, you invest in assets you know and trust, whether you want to diversify and buy stocks, or cryptos, or real estate. You can do anything except three things. Life insurance, collectibles, or prohibited transactions under 4975, which is essentially any transaction between you, you and a lineal descendant or an entity you control, you can do it. Cryptos, real estate, private investments, hedge funds, investment funds, hard money loans, tax liens, you can do it. Save, be consistent, trust the process, patience. You're gonna be rich when you're older. Plus you get to invest in assets you know and trust. That's how you build wealth 
through a self-directed retirement plan.